Does it make sense for you to rent and buy a new launch property while waiting for it to be constructed? Hi everyone, I'm Dylan and today I'll be sharing with you the most common dilemma for first-time buyers who are choosing between getting a resale condo or a new launch. Yes, I do understand that renting may not be the most popular choice as shifting houses may be an inconvenient process. At the same time, we need to get over the fact that we are sort of helping the homeowner to pay off their mortgage as compared to paying for our own. But is that really true? I think it is also important to dive deeper into the numbers to understand the total sunken cost involved between the two. For today's example, I will be comparing two condos, both a resale and a new launch, situated in the same area located near Canberra MRT, same three bedrooms of similar size to find out the true cost of owning each. First, if you were to buy a nautical three bedder today, you will be expecting a price tag of about $1.2 million and the sunken costs per month are as follows. First, assuming you'll be taking the full 75% loan at a 1.5% interest rate, and because it is a resale condo, the monthly interest payable will be about $1,081. Second, the maintenance fee of such unit type will be about $350. Lastly, the property tax at about $101. Therefore, the total sunken cost per month is about $1,532. Next, for Water Gardens 3 bedrooms, you will be expecting a price tag of about $1.5 million, some even lower depending on the size and facing of the unit you are getting. Now for a $1.5 million new launch property, the monthly costs are as follow. First, assuming 75% loan at 1.5% interest rate, the average monthly interest payable works out to be about $406, which is significantly lower as compared to a resale condo. But that is also because for new launch property, you are under the progressive payment scheme whereby the loan disbursement amount varies at different stages of the construction. Next, because it is a new launch property, you do not have to pay for the maintenance fee and property tax. However, considering if you were to rent the nautical tree bader in the interim, it will cost you about $3,200 per month. Thus, the monthly sunken cost will work out to be about $3,606. Now let's fast forward to 3 years later and accounting for other costs such as buyer stamp duty and potential renovation costs for the resale condo, you will see that the difference between the two options in order for you to break even is a mere $6,664. The bigger question is which option is safer for you and has more potential for capital appreciation in the short run. In conclusion, after running through the numbers, does it really make financial sense to rent and buy a new launch? Well, if you have the luxury of staying with your parents or do not mind renting a smaller unit in the interim, you will find that your break-even cost will be even lower. Of course, not all condos have the same scenario, but you will be surprised that in some area, the break-even of a resale property costs much more as compared to a new launch. Hit me up if you are facing such dilemma and I'll be happy to help you analyse into such details. If you like what you see, watch out for my next video where I will be sharing about the general performance of a new launch versus a resale property. Thanks for watching and remember to hit the like and subscribe button for new video updates. Bye!